Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about Games Workshop doing Games Workshop stuff. I mean, you think that they have learned a lesson not to, well, upset the fan, but uh, they seem to not care very much about the fan base, or at least they don't seem to care about the customers in itself. Or at least, let me put it this way, if you're a normal person, or if you're poor. Yeah. Right, from Fandom Pulse, after upsetting their fanbase with female custodies, King's Workshop announces Warhammer 40k price increases. So how much are they going to increase this little thing? Well, importantly, it's going to be uh, around 4-5%, thereabouts, I think. But the mostly, uh, the funny bit in here is that they don't think they have noticed or learn a thing or two because they are doing everything they possibly can to upset their fans remember a few weeks ago in which they decided to <clears throat> release the film stories and decided to change considerably the lore of warhammer because the Custodies was and is a faction on Warhammer in which they take it from the male sons. So, generally speaking, they would have to go through more or less a bit somewhat similar to what the Space Marines go through, in which they pick the best of the best of the male candidates, etc. And physically speaking, males will always win on top of the female. This is why we have big issues with transgender in sports, in female sports, in which they seem to overwhelmingly win on top of the females. Yeah, testosterone is one hell of a hormone, especially if you are physically active. Which is why, in Olympics, they make a small exception for transgenders in having a higher count of testosterone than females, even with a very bad case of PCOS. And, well, here we see the results with, with transgenders winning over females. So, basically speaking, why would the Empire, the Imperium of Man, actually choose uh, somewhat, let's call it, an inferior custodies. Unless they are going to plan on going on absurd levels of craziness in trying to, well, make it a man. Mm. Either way, Warhammer is doing really bad. It's trying to outdo Star Wars and Star Trek in Wokeness. Oh wait, and Dungeons and Dragons. But before I continue, here is a trailer. I'm back, baby, yeah. Right, so, with the female custodies again. It's a very a retarded change, which changes the lore deeply. 
If you're going to add female custodies, it's just a tiny little bump for you to make female space marines. After all, they need to encroach and destroy <coughs> male spaces only, or male spaces, so they can actually add awoke retards who do not purchase, care, or even love the hobby. I mean, they are a very tiny thing. But then again, they actually need the ESG money and the, all the retarded, well, didn't earn it type of political gain. Because if you're going to add female custodies and they say how they always existed, well, I think I can actually say the same thing and say orcs have always existed as custodies. They've always been custodies. And orcs are the best custodies ever. Hey, what's what's the difference? If you're going to, if you really think that females can do custodies, orcs can too. I don't see anything against it. It's the same amount of lore change that you need to do to actually add an orc. After all, it's the same thing. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean. Why do you have why are you against orcs? Isn't that bigotry? After all, isn't the woke idiots who actually told us that orcs represent black people too? So what's wrong with it? Hmm? I mean let's make it happen. After all oh wait, no, it already exists. It has always existed. It's always been there. Isn't that exactly what Games Workshop told us? Isn't it? After all, they know it. But here is the thing. Now back to their stupidity, their latest stupidity. Here it is what they said in a post. It's an unfortunate truth that the world keeps getting more expensive. Prices for food, materials and transportation have been trending upwards for a few years now. Blame socialist policies. And Warhammer isn't immune to that trend. This means that the 10th of June will be increasing some prices on all Warhammer stores and on Warhammer.com. The price changes for individual products will vary, but in most countries the average change will be between 3 and 5%. As an example, what you expect, the squad of Necron Warriors goes up $2 from 50 to 52. 30 to 31.50 and 40 to 41 euros on local currency equivalent. Oh, that's just wonderful, isn't it? No. I think, based on the amount of unpopular changes that they have been doing lately, including this one from that park place, Warhammer 40k novelist James Swallow confirms he included gender transition propaganda into his Iron and Bone story. Oh well, now! More woke shenanigans! Isn't it enough already that you guys are trying to destroy the hobby? I mean, we saw what happened with Star Trek and Star Wars. Ask Disney how profitable Star Wars has been. Not very. They still haven't paid off their purchase of Lucasfilm. Hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Or how bad Dungeons & Dragons is? Exception of Baldur's Gate 3, which brought some profit to it, but overall they have been losing money. They have been doing very badly. I think we need to do the same thing for Games Workshop and Warhammer. 3D printer going burr! Recasters going catching! I think we need to do that. We definitely, definitely, definitely need to do with 3D printer and do a cutoff date with Warhammer as well. Anything they published uh, after 2022, 20, yeah, 2021, 2022, they started a good, good cutoff year where they start, um, when they started to in to change the demographics of planets around, like Fenrir. I don't remember the year when that happened, but I think I suspect 2021-ish. We cut it out and say anything that Games, Games Workshop has published or said or done, anything after those years, are non-canon. I say just a really shitty fanfic. And that's it. Anything above those dates is shit and non-canon. Especially, we can actually literally do the same thing we've been doing with Battletech. We have a cutoff date. Anything that Games Catalyst has published or done in the last recent two years, cut it out. Consider it a, sh a cheap fun fact. And then go and do, well, 
get old miniatures, go 3D printing, recasts, and all of that thing. If you're really into miniatures and all that. It's the best thing we can do. It's that these companies do not really seem to respect the fans. They seem to forget that they depend on us to exist. They depend on our money to keep existing. So the best thing we can do, like I said, recast, 3D printing, or get old stuff. Like I said, 3D printing goes with these people because they never seem to learn not to piss off their fans. Because after all, huh, like in the old lore, these men never leave Earth. Hmm. Isn't it amazing? Allowing every dynasty that had offered up its sons to claim their children as successful ones alive and well amongst the Golden Brotherhood, the Jokustodes. They never ever learn, do they? Well, hopefully eventually one day they'll learn before they go bankrupt. Because people are getting tired of this nonsense. So, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. And remember, fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you.